Hello and welcome to Kalefi video where today we're going to discuss the SATK22 and SATK32 heat interface units and the associated heat networks. District heating, also known as heat networks, is a system for distributing heat generated in a centralised location through a system of insulated pipes for residential and commercial heating requirements such as radiant heating and heating of hot water. The heat is often obtained from cogeneration plants burning fossil fuels or biomass. But heat only boiler stations, geothermal heating and heat pumps and central solar heating systems are also used, as well as heat waste from incineration plants. District heating plants can provide higher efficiencies and better pollution control than localised boilers. According to some research, district heating with combined heat and power is the cheapest method of cutting carbon emissions and one of the lowest carbon footprints of all fossil fuels. The heat generated by the central plant is taken by the HIU and using plate heat exchangers, the heat is transferred for use within either the heating or hot water within the property. The heat or energy is used by the heat interface unit and it is key to optimise this heat. The hot water coming into the HIU should be used to such a degree that there is a far cooler temperature returning to the heat source and this is called the delta T. The bigger the delta T, the more efficiency the energy is used and benefits for the overall system. The SATK32 heat interface unit with advanced electronic functions is the latest intelligent range of HRUs from Kalefi. The advanced electronic features of the SATK22 and 32 can protect the heat network from inefficiency. The unit has the ability for the maximum allowable return temperature to be set independently for both heating and direct hot water. As an example, when the unit is producing space heating, the maximum allowable primary return could be set to 40 degrees C. Once set, the unit will modulate the secondary output temperature in order to produce primary return temperatures of 40 degrees C or lower. In this way, the network is protected from higher delta T's and therefore inefficiency. To further protect the network from inefficiency and failure, the maximum primary flow rate that the unit can take when in heating mode can be set on the HRU controller. Once set, this will ensure that the apartment space heating demand can never exceed the designer's intended load. This protects the network from failure should cold weather, direct hot water peak demand and multiple apartments on maximum space heating coincide. Conventional HRUs provide the secondary heating system with water at a set temperature and relies on the thermostatic radiator valve within the space heating to modulate the flow through the emitters to maintain the desired room temperature. If radiators are not balanced, the higher than required flow rate results in a higher return temperature than in the design calculations, especially at low heat demand. The higher return temperatures result in greater energy losses. With an HRU designed to provide return temperature limitation, or RTL, the return temperature is also specified and set on the controller, ensuring low prime return temperatures at all times. Even as the apartment approaches the required temperature, the HRU will ensure the prime return temperature remains the same. Another new feature is the way that the unit is controlled. The unit is supplied as standard with a room controller and thermostat that can be mounted away from the HRU in a hallway or a living room, for example. If the controller is mounted within the HRU cover, the thermostat function can be disabled. Once the cover is fitted to the HRU, the unit is totally insulated so the cooler components are insulated from the hot components. The outer surface of the cover is metal and features cutouts for the controller and for the heat meter. The tenant can read the integral energy meter without removing the cover. The integral HRU controller has the option for Modbus connection to a BMS or separate Modbus network. Once connected, all settings are checked, set and changed remotely. The Modbus network can also be used for remote fault diagnosis. The new intelligent HRU is extremely compact in design and lightweight, allowing the unit to be reversible, allowing the primary connections to be at the bottom or the top of the unit. There is also the option for a pre-plumbed jig, so all pipe work can be completed without having to hang the unit on the wall, protecting them from damage. 
Thank you for watching our video today and our intelligent HRUs, the SAT K22 and the SAT K32. For more information on these products, please contact your local branch or visit our website at www.kalefi.com. Thank you for watching.